In many ways, Donny van de Beek's first season at Manchester United is similar to a footballer's trim during quarantine in that it is unpleasant and something they don't want to be remembered by. In all seriousness though, if you told me that by mid-March Van de Beek would have only two Premier League starts, I would have been extremely surprised. Van de Beek was United's big signing this past summer and expected by many to be a future star at Old Trafford. In today's video, I'll share three reasons why Van de Beek's time at Manchester United has been unsuccessful. When Manchester United first signed Donny Van de Beek for 35 million pounds, it was seen as a great deal for both parties. Van de Beek was an up and coming star that had garnered lots of attention while contributing to Ajax's 2018 2019 Champions League run to the semi finals. For Van de Beek, the move to Old Trafford was the next step in cementing himself as a world class midfielder. Unfortunately, both United and Van de Beek bought the hype and failed to evaluate whether this was a good fit. Throughout Donny van de Beek's professional footballing career, he has made 272 appearances. Roughly 55% of his appearances have been as a central midfielder. Another 35% of his appearances have been as an attacking midfielder. And finally, only 10% of his appearances have been as a defensive midfielder. Furthermore, when playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation with Ajax, van de Beek was used as the number 10 playing off of Dusan Tadic. As we all know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's preferred formation during his three years at Old Trafford has been a 4-2-3-1. Considering that United have Bruno playing the 10, who is in an undroppable form, how did anyone think this was going to work? For those of you saying Van de Beek could just play the 8 in the double pivot, you are forgetting that position is already occupied by Paul Pogba, one of the Premier League's best deep line playmakers. While I understand that players get injured, a 35 million pound Backup number 10 sounds like a waste of money to me. Furthermore, because United lack a reliable central defensive midfielder, they are unable to play in a 4-3-3 with Van de Beek alongside Bruno in the attacking midfield. Many Manchester United fans are frustrated with the lack of opportunity that Donny van de Beek has received under Solskjaer. While 26 appearances across all competitions doesn't sound bad, if you look deeper into the numbers, you will see his opportunity has been limited. Van de Beek has only played a full 90 minutes four times this season. He's only played more than 45 minutes 13 times, with the majority coming in the EFL Cup and the FA Cup. When Van de Beek has gotten the opportunity to play, he hasn't been bad, but without a consistent run of matches, it's hard to tell what level he's really at. We saw something similar occur with Jesse Lingard, who was unable to get any match time in Solskjaer's 4-2-3-1 and was thought to be not good enough by fans. However, since joining West Ham on loan, Lingard has excelled and found his way back into the England squad. Once again, I think it goes back to Van de Beek's best position being the number 10, which is already occupied by an informed Bruno Fernandes. Because the Premier League is so competitive, Solskjaer has been very cautious about subbing Bruno out. In my opinion, Solskjaer could better handle the situation by identifying more matches where Bruno can be rested and Van de Beek can be given an opportunity to showcase his ability. Solskjaer has done this a few times throughout the season, but not frequently enough. While Donny van de Beek's first season at Manchester United has been disappointing, it's far too soon to call him a flop. As we have seen with Fred, it can often take players a few seasons to adjust to the Premier League. How United approach this summer transfer window will have a major impact on Van de Beek's role in the squad. If United sign a central defensive midfielder like Declan Rice, then I believe Van de Beek will receive more opportunities as an attacking mid alongside Bruno in a 4-3-3. However, if United don't make any new signings in the midfield and continue to play in a 4-2-3-1, then Van de Beek's role in the squad remains uncertain. Van de Beek's future is also heavily reliant on what happens to Paul Pogba this summer. If Pogba chooses to stay, then it will remain difficult for Van de Beek to find his way into United's three-man midfield regardless of the formation. However, if Pogba leaves this summer, then more opportunities will open up to Van de Beek. Finally, I have to give credit to Van de Beek for how he has handled the situation. While Van de Beek must be frustrated about his playing time, he has remained extremely professional, never attacking the club or manager. 
While rumors have surfaced that Van de Beek may want to leave the club this summer, they are from unreliable sources and should not be trusted. Solskjaer's rejected this speculation and Van de Beek's passionate celebration from the bench in United's 1-0 win over AC Milan confirms that his future is at Manchester United. Anyways, I wish Donny Van de Beek all the best moving forward and can't wait to see his progress at Old Trafford. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on Donny Van de Beek's first season at Manchester United. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more United content. Thank you and take it easy. Peace. Give me that AK. Everybody's grounded, but I'm off to the races. Yeah, you know I'm lost and they all know their places. Maybe sometimes it's good to be complacent.